Gefitinib, an inhibitor of epidermal growth factor receptor tyrosine kinase mutants in non-small cell lung cancer. Lung cancer is the largest cause of cancer-related mortality in the United States and worldwide, resulting in an estimated 1.3 million deaths annually. Non-small cell lung cancers account for over 85% of all cases. Most patients with advanced or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer survive for less than one year. This form of lung cancer often arises as a result of mutations in the epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR. EGFR is a transmembrane glycoprotein with an extracellular epidermal growth factor binding domain and an intracellular tyrosine kinase domain. Wild-type EGFR binding to its ligand results in a conformational opening of the extracellular domain, which permits receptor dimerization and autophosphorylation by the internal kinase domains on C-terminal tyrosine residues. These phosphorylated residues recruit downstream effectors in signal transduction pathways related to cell proliferation. Mutations in the EGFR gene that affect its tyrosine kinase domain are common. 40% are L858R point mutations, where the leucine 858 residue is replaced by an arginine in the tyrosine kinase domain activation loop. This mutation destabilizes the inactive form of the enzyme. The receptor is maintained in its active form, where continued autophosphorylation leads to carcinogenesis. Gefitinib, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, is effective in halting disease progression for approximately 8 to 13 months in non-small cell lung cancer patients with L858R mutations. This 4-amino quinazoline competitively inhibits ATPase activity of the tyrosine kinase by occupying its ATP binding site. Yoon and colleagues elucidated the crystal structure of gefitinib bound to the wild-type receptors and L858R mutants. In both, the methionine 793 residue in the critical hinge region of EGFR hydrogen bonds to a nitrogen atom on the gefitinib quinazoline ring. This nitrogen is a strong hydrogen bond acceptor as it has the inhibitor's second most negative molecule atomic charge, which denotes the electron population around each atom. However, the replacement arginine also allows for a halogen bond from the chlorine on gefitinib to aspartate 855 which initiates a stabilizing hydrogen bonding network. These hydrogen bonds increase the affinity of gefitinib for the L858R mutant compared to the wild-type receptor, decreasing the dissociation constant. The conformation of the mutant also gives it a decreased affinity for ATP compared to wild-type EGFR, as indicated by the higher michaelis metin constant for L858R. Thus, Gefitinib inhibits L858R mutants more potently than wild-type enzymes. This is reflected by KD over KM values, with lower values representing increased inhibition potency. Yoon and colleagues measured this metric using fluorescence assays, and the result shows that gefitinib is about 100 times as potent against L858R mutants as it is against wild-type cells. Clinically, CT scans and x-rays conducted on gefitinib-treated patients indicate the drug's potent anti-tumor effect during the first nine months of treatment. Unfortunately, a majority of patients on gefitinib experience disease progression after this period. Sequencing of resistant tumors has revealed a number of common secondary mutations acquired as a consequence of treatment. The most common secondary mutation substitutes the threonine 790 residue with the methionine. In a later paper, Yoon and colleagues discovered this dramatically increases ATP affinity of the tyrosine kinase back to near non-mutant levels, with KM decreasing from 148 to 8.4 micromolar. This allows ATP to outcompete gefitinib at cellular concentrations. The future of EGFR inhibitors lies in the development of compounds that bind covalently and irreversibly to mutant EGFR, thereby removing the dependence on inhibition kinetics. The FDA approved one of these in the United States on November 13th of this year. In the near future, scientists aim to combat these acquired resistance mutations by coupling tumor sequence analysis with new mutant-specific inhibitors, leading lung cancer treatment toward the realm of personalized medicine.